I want to send someone a letter. Should I use a zip code or a postal code? What's the difference between a zip code and a postal code? Well, the difference is that in the US they use zip codes and in Canada we use postal codes. Okay, a zip code has five numbers and a postal code has a letter, number, letter, number, letter, number. Okay, so this is what we use in Canada. That's what they use in the US. But they mean the same thing. They're to show the mail service uh, where to deliver the letter. Okay, it's part of a person's address. Address or address. This word can be pronounced address or address if it's a noun. If it's a verb, then it's always pronounced address. Address with the stress on the second syllable. Okay, so how do we address an envelope? If you want to send a letter to someone, how should you address it? This thing here is called an envelope. Envelope. Or some people say envelope. Envelope. But I think it makes more sense to pronounce it envelope. Okay, so here's how you address the envelope. You put first name, then last name, then street address, then city, and then comma, uh, state, and province. Now, there doesn't need to be a comma here. Uh, I just put a comma here to separate so you know that the first name and last name. But there doesn't need to be a comma here, but there should be a comma between the city and the state or the province. Okay, the US has states, Canada has provinces. Okay, then you put a space and then the zip code or the postal code goes here and then the country. Okay, so it's pretty easy. Let's take a look at an example. Okay, Bob Smith, okay, 717 Fifth Avenue Northeast. Okay, now what does this mean? NE. Well, sometimes a city might have a Fifth Avenue South and a Fifth Avenue North or East and West. Okay, some cities are a little bit confusing. You probably don't need this, but if it's part of someone's address, then you should you should put it in there. It just adds some clarity. Okay, sometimes cities are split up into quadrants it means four pieces four quadrants like this okay northeast uh, southeast southwest northwest okay so bob smith lives in the northeast okay calgary comma alberta space t2e space 0b5 okay and the country is canada Okay, so that's pretty simple. That's how you address an envelope. Now, you should always remember to put your return address in the upper left corner. So your return address is the same format. It just it has your name instead of Bob Smith, right? And you should put a stamp up here in the top right corner. So you need to buy a stamp from the post office, then lick it, right? And then you need to paste it onto the envelope. And then you send the envelope away. Hopefully the person gets it. Okay, uh, so I wanna know, does your country use zip codes or postal codes? Is there any difference in the way your country handles mail service? Or is it the same as Canada and the US? Let me know down there in the comments and I'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care.